Okay, so um, there's a couple of, um, of ways to to take a look at what metering we actually have in Pro Tools. A good start is set up preferences and go in under the metering tab where you get to see all of your different uh, meters. And you have basically got two different meters going on at the same time for your tracks and separate metering for your masters. And as you can see, I'm in sample peak here for, for my track meters. There's a couple of them uh, here, Pro Tools Classic or Linear or Linear Extended, uh, the RMS or VU meters, digital VUs, mm -hmm. different PPM style meters for different countries. Uh, and, we Di and different standards as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, and we got the, the, the loudness metering uh, uh, type uh, in K scale 12, 14 and 20. Mm -hmm. And even if you're working with uh, with a venue system, you can get the, the venue RMS or peak meters from, from the venue so that they are exactly corresponding to, to, to this. And I think it's uh, just a, a great a collection of metering here for, for our meters. And it's not only that, I can go in and, and customize my metering. Mm. So let's uh, look at the, 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 the sample peak here, which has uh, a decay rate of 40 decibels in uh, one and a half seconds. And if I really want the meters to fall down slower than this uh, mm. or faster, I can set the time here. And I can also set exactly where the 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 zero what the d zero yeah. db is showing um, and the integration time if i wanted to have that as well so that the peak the meter will actually react a bit slower to incoming signals so uh, like in the way that the vu meter does which has a, a bit of integration time so that would keep levels a bit higher in, in the radio uh, and you can also set and this is a great one yeah, you can set this. where where your color break is and this mm -hmm. is especially good when you're recording and you can see here my color break high is set to to minus six and my color break low is set to minus 18. Mm -hmm. so i can set that so that i have a visual reference it actually changes color where i want the signal to be and usually i will record that around minus 18 because if i'm recording at 24 bits uh, or 32-bit float that gives me enough headroom um, uh, and or, or all the headroom that I need. And I can make this settings for, for my meters. And you can also set to how much peak hold you want to have, three seconds, infinite or, or none. Uh, and also your calibration reference level. So I would say that's a lot of metering stuff. It's insane. Another isn't way. It? Are there any meters that are missing from that? In at the LUFS, yeah, Lux. I think oh, Lux Lux is, is the big yeah. one. Uh, one, one more thing uh, before I uh, leave this to to Andy to to talk about the Lufs metering is that you can you don't have to go into set the preference to change your metering. You can just mm. right click any yeah. meter and change them instantly. So if I wanted to have Pro Tools Classic, I can have that on my tracks and then go back to Sample Peak without being uh, able. Uh, I don't need to go to to yeah. the preferences. So we can do it all on the fly. Yeah. Oh, completely. So um, did you want so to talk Andy, about how we can get to LUFs? Yeah, so there's a couple things. Um, let me throw something up here. Um, so there's a couple things to, to take a look at over here. So one of the things that I would recommend, and this is just a very simple voiceover setting, um, notice here um, that I've got audio tracks, aux tracks, and master faders. This is something that when I was playing around with it, it really bugged me and now I love it because to be honest, my metering on normal tracks, I like to have it the way I hear it, which is more like RMS, root mean squared. Mm. But I on my on my master fader, I need to know if it's going to clip. So I want to mm. see peak, right? So I want I want to see two different meters in Pro Tools at the same time. The first time I tried it, it really messed me up, but but after I got used to it, it was like this is greatest thing in the world so if you go to your metering um you uncheck this track and 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 master types and what i'll do is i'll i'll usually set my track to be rms or or whatever you're comfortable with and then i'll generally leave sample peak for my master faders so that at this um you can see here let me change it so you can actually see a difference let me change this to linear and you can see here, which by the way, linear I never use, but you can see here that there's a difference between all my other tracks and my master fader. 
Um, and so I'm going to change this back to RMS because it just makes me sad. Um, the other thing that I would do is I want to show you that you can also show it because we're talking about professional metering um you can also show your gain reduction on the actual track so so if you had for example on this track i've got <laughs> six inserts or five inserts so, so i have insert abuser but you can see here i've got a whole bunch of different i've got compressors i've got a whole, whole bunch of things including uh, some gain reduction on this track and you can see over here if I go ahead and right click over here You can show gain reduction. I can show only mm -hmm. compression I can show only expansion or I can show what I normally do is all gain reduction sum together And right now you see that gain reduction go down why because I've got a noise gate on this right? So I've got an expander on this. So this is this is going to show me the entire aggregated mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, Gain reduction for this so that's that's one thing. And so this mixer gives you a ton of information. But yes. if you need LUFs, there's two ways you can do it. And probably one of the ways is going to be to on the usually I'll put this on the um, on the the main bus um, on the on the last master fader in, in my yeah. system. I will go over here and I'll go to dynamics and I will go to pro limiter. And your pro limiter is going to come on, is going to show you as you, as you play back. I'll go ahead and. Uh, system and you're going to see here that it gives you a running total of of your levels including you see that your peak. I've got active cool. up here. Bring that down. Um, you can see here that I've got my my true peak which is important mm -hmm. um, you've got your integrated luffs which is yeah, it's not not in bad shape at all um, for for so you want to be at about in minus 15 luffs for for youtube which is i think the work that i was doing so i'm right in the ballpark and it, and it gives me basically a running tally of of where i need to be now there's another place you can do it so if you've got a mix and let's say this is my my mix down um little guy i can also go up into audio suite and if you have the pro limiter plugin you also have another really useful little plugin that gets installed at the same if i go to other Pro loudness analyzer and you can get a sense over here if I just go ahead and analyze it will take for example my final my final bounce which I think this is I can analyze it zoom, and it will tell me that for the whole yeah. thing my integrated left is minus 14.6 my true peak is my minus four so I'm in the ballpark and I can do that if I want to change it I can you know use it or it can do a number of different things but that's another way to get to metering is yeah, that included with any of the installs or is it, there a specific plugin that needs to be purchased? Yes. So, yeah. so, um, <laughs> the pro, by the way, if you played around with the pro series, uh, plugins, do yourself a favor and get used to them because they are really, yeah. really good. Yeah. Um, so you've got your pro, uh, compressor, your pro expander and your pro limiter. Um, the pro limiter is, is, is the one that I'm using on, on the main bus to, to see a, a real time kind of graph. Um, but if you install the pro plugin, then what comes with it, what's installed at the same time is the uh, pro limiter loudness analyzer, which is it's worth its weight in gold. And that's a uh, part of, of the, uh, the complete uh, plugin bundle that uh, you get if you have an active sus subscription, right? That's right. Yep. Mm. Uh, yeah, great stuff there. And that's uh, not even in real time. It's um, faster than real time. So it's a, a great feature. Yeah. There's also another free plugin that I can mention by TB Pro Audio. Um, it's a DP Meter 2 that, that has some, some some other data that you can see. I specifically use it for Crest Factor. Um, I'll just share my screen. I don't know whether you've seen this. You probably have seen this one. But. Oh, let me unshare. Okay. So there you go. So I've got that one, and I'll typically have. That's um, a good meter. Yeah, I'll typically have Pro Limiter, and I'll have this one on, uh, as you say, on the on the master fader right at the end. So it's not affecting any of the signal. Um, it's just monitoring what's going on after all of your your two bus processing, um, and those those two together just provide anything everything that you want to see. You know, one of the things <clears throat> about Pro Tools that, um, and again, you know. I, I work for Avid, so you can take everything I say with a grain of salt. But one of the great things about about Pro Tools' position in the industry is that we've got just such a great family of people who want to make 
plugins that work for for us. Mm. So so basically, you know, you've got all of these AAX plugins made by the best, and they know that professionals are going to be using them. So you can find really really good plugins. It's hard to find a bad one, to be quite honest. Um, and and if it's an AAX plugin, you know that it's going to repeat report its latency, and it'll be compensated for, and 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 it won't you know mess around with your mix as as yeah. sometimes um, you or or VST plugins can. Um, and your your mix just stays stays cohesive if you turn on automatic compensation. So yeah, that's a that's a fantastic uh, meter. Yeah. 